criminal activity is criminal activity. And we get paid to investigate that and to, to look and dig for that. And that's exactly what happened here. Jefferson Town Police were keeping an eye on Dean Campbell for months. Then earlier this month, they made their move. Catching up with him here at Isom and Chenoweth Run Roads. They say he had just picked up cocaine from his supplier, Brian Miller. Police say Campbell was shocked when they found him. They roll the dice. They, uh, and after they've gotten away with it for so long, I think a comfort level develops, and that's a, a misguided comfort level. Police then went to Miller's house and say they found more cocaine, drug paraphernalia, and marijuana. Miller and Lindsey Gaddy were arrested at the house. Young children also live there. Sad when children are present in the home. They could be exposed to it. They could be exposed to violence. Campbell worked for Jefferson Town Public Works and we're told he's no longer employed. The traffic stop we made on him and the subsequent search warrant we served on him. Uh, he was in a non-city vehicle, a personal vehicle, if you will. Chief Hatmaker says they knew Campbell worked for the city when they started the investigation and it played no role in how they proceeded. Make no mistake, if they're doing crime, if they're doing dirt, they're going to be investigated. They're going to be charged. They're going to be arrested. All three of the suspects are out of jail, but they do have upcoming court dates. Reporting in Jefferson Town, I'm Carolyn Callahan, WLKY News. It was a small amount of cocaine found during the arrest. Police tell us Dean Campbell and Brian Miller are related. The two men are scheduled for court tomorrow. Lindsey Gaddy will not be in court until next year.